May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to Shoshali's try to a smart Charlie but fails. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, you were talking earlier also about, you know, mass shootings aren't a big deal or gun. There's like not a lot of gun deaths, but how many is a, how many is a, what's the, what's the right amount of gun deaths, I guess. Is because like, and I know it's kind of a trap question because obviously the answer is zero, but I just don't understand the logic of, you know, we're not, there's only a couple, so it's not that bad. Like, I just don't know if you could explain that to me. Please. Well, I'll throw it right back at you. At what point will you be satisfied with gun confiscation when there's, what, what's your number? Because uh, the burden of proof is on the gun grabbers, not on me. I've told you, the left is very pro-gun. Okay, so the, so the, okay. <laughs> can, can you, you guys say, laugh because you can you say that again? The like, the really, is. the left is very pro-gun? The socialist and left, not the Democratic Party, a lot of socialists have pro-gun sentiments. In Venezuela, do they have the right to bear arms? And did Mao allow people to have regimes guns? are, you know, populist, and they just kind of say whatever the people want. Is the Democratic People's Republic of Korea really democratic? No. You can't just, because somebody says they're socialist, you don't just get to slap a label on it. You, 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 you denounce every evidence of socialism we it's have, but you cannot produce one. So therefore, I can only judge that which I see. And I see people using the guise of Marxism and socialism. The guise. You just, you just said it for me. It's not yes. real. It's, I mean, of course, if you read the manifesto, they eventually talk about a utopian state absent of any sort of government control yeah. where, where human nature is completely and totally changed, which I like to call science fiction. At this point. So we should just let people who are, in your opinion, inherently bad run amok with no checks. Like. No, that's what's so beautiful about the Constitution. Bad people are going to try to corrupt their power, and we have checks and balances against them. So you just said something I never said. That's why we have an electoral college. That's why we have a House of Representatives. That's why I have a Supreme Court. That's why I have three branches of government. That's why the states created the federal government. That's why if a president gets out of power, he can be impeached and removed of office. That's why if a Supreme Court justice gets corrupted, he can also be impeached. That's why a senator used to be able to be recalled by the states. That's why that if someone ever tries to corrupt their power, the founding fathers found levers to be able to remove them immediately because they knew people sucked. And they wanted to be able to get rid of them quickly because they said consensus amongst those who are being governed is more important than the people doing the governing. And that's what made the American Constitution so amazing. Hmm. Anyway, I love this. That, that is how politics is supposed to be. You know, we put you there so we can call you back. I think it's only work in the western part of the world because in, in my continent, you can only put them there and you can call them back. So if, if they come to you with, you know, appealing gifts, come to you with things, you know, promise you heaven and earth, and they end up not doing those things, you have nothing to do. You just have to wait for the next four years to try again. And I think that is where we've been getting it wrong because politicians have been using us. You know, the, the thing is, they promise you, don't worry, when I get into power, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll make the country great. I will. But as soon as they get there, you don't see them again till you... Let's say the next election and they will come and make empty promises. Maybe that election year they'll fix the road, you know, give you lights and all, trying to bribe you so that you can vote them in again. And I think they've been playing this thing for so long and we are not just learning. Consigning gun, I feel this gun should be regulated because yeah, I, I get people need it for self defense, but American is quite safe, so I don't see any reason why people should be having gun. But well, if it's for self-defense, then uh, people can have it in their house. But at least there should be like gun control. Like people should know that yes, the father is there. You need to make sure the safety is on. You need to make sure you only use it when it's necessary. I think it's difficult to have a licensed gun in Africa than other part of let's say other other Western you know country. In Africa, it is we citizens don't really have guns let's say out of 100 you get maybe one person that have it so we don't really push for it we feel like there is no point keeping such a harmful stuff in our presence because if you know you're not using it then why didn't you have it so instead we we keep things that we get things that we need anyway but that does not mean it's not important because i i see in in some countries anything can happen at any time we are africans we are not expecting to fight war any moment since i was born i've not seen anyone fighting war in africa we've been living in peace so that is why each time i feel like africans we are all connected we are one we are almost the same siblings the other thing is these invisible borders have been able to separate us from one another well to me i feel we are still one 
But well, this is this is this is lovely, and I love how Charlie put it. We are the one that plays these leaders there, so we can call them back if they're not doing the right job. Okay, so if if you feel like this person is there is not performing their duty, you can call them back. You can you can ask the person, okay, you're not doing what we we brought you there for because it's like the citizen are employing you to manage their resources. So if if they feel like you are not doing a good job, they have every right to tell you come back home. Let's try another person. And I think it's I've 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 been hearing about impeachment, you know, impeachment. I've not really seen it firsthand, you know. Um you impeaching a government or impeaching a president simply because he's not performing. I've really not seen it. Anyway, I, I don't know how frequent it happens, but I know it's 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 rarely happened. You know, most times they just want them to just finish their tenure and, and leave. This is a beautiful one. I enjoy this and I want to see more videos like this. If you have any recommendation, let me know in the comment section. If it's your first time visiting the channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remain blessed.